Hi everyone. Welcome to the first semester's first chapter which is introduction to tourism, hospitality and hotel industry. To move further in this, firstly we are going to discuss about certain terms which is which is known as glossary and then we will learn about the origin and growth of hospitality. So that's the introduction to tourism and hospitality and hotel industry. It is a vast, vast segment. And moving further to our glossary, the first thing that we would discuss is about the tourism. Now, tourism is also defined by the World Tourism Organization. And it is basically the movement of people from their normal place, place of residence to some other place. And that duration has to be minimum for 24 hours to a maximum of six months. And the purpose of this travel can be for leisure, can be for pleasure, can be for business or any other purpose. And moving further to the term hospitality. Now this term is used for all the service sectors and also as hotels is a part of the hospitality segment. It is a very, very important word. So it's basically the relationship between the host, which will be the hotel and the guests who, will, who are going to come and stay with us. And it's the act of being hospitable. And we need to show, uh, show certain kind of care and kindness to the people who are in the need. Moving to the word hotel in which we all would be working in. So it's basically a commercial establishment where, uh, you know, a certain kind of accommodation, meals and other guest services like bellness, spa, saloon, business center, etc. is provided. So the guest should be in a position to pay for the services that he or she is availing. He, should, he, he or she needs to have the money to purchase the services from the hotel. Moving further to the subject which is front office that we are going to discuss about. So the reception and the front desk of the hotel that the guest sees for the first time is the front office. So it's the place where the guest arrives. Uh, a lot of guest interaction takes place. And also the checkout of the guest happens through this particular department. So it's the face of the hotel. Moving towards the international tourism and the second point which is, which is the domestic tourism. Now there is a vast difference between the both. International tourism means when we are visiting to some other country which is not the same country as we reside in. So we are going to a foreign land and this requires a valid visa, a valid passport, a valid uh, insurance and some medical certificates and also the guests can carry foreign exchange. Domestic tourism will be the travel within the same country and we require a government approved identity proof for that. That can be an Aadhaar card, that can be a uh, driving license, but it cannot be your private or your uh, own identity proof. It has to be a government approved identity card. Right. The next word is itinerary and it is a very, very important term which is used in the hospitality and tourism sector. Which means that we are planning our journey to go to a certain place that can be in India, that can be in a foreign country as well. And we are identifying and listing certain places, but those have to be in the order in which they will be visited. For example, if we are going for four days, so each day will be having a different itinerary. And we would be discussing about day one first, then about day two, day three and day four. And then it's going to be the departure from that particular uh, uh, state if it's in India or some other country if it's an in international tourism. right? But <clears throat> importantly, it has to be noted down that it has to be in the order in which those places have to be visited. Talking about souvenir. Obviously, when one goes to a certain location, which is uh, away from their normal place of residence, we like that particular place. Uh, for example, we are visiting Jaipur. For example, we are visiting Agra. So that's a tourist location. So we may get certain thing as a remembrance from that particular place. So if I talk about Agra for that matter, so we get a small Taj Mahal to get it for our friends or get it for our own home. So that is something which is brought as a remembrance of that particular place. It can be as small as a key ring as well. So uh, that's known as a souvenir. Talking about the origin and growth of hospitality. Now, if, it, if we know about our history, we didn't have cars, we didn't have motorcycles, we didn't have any kind of uh, arrangements to travel on a motored vehicle. 
right so people used to travel on camels and they used to travel in groups which was known as caravans now people used to travel in groups for a reason because these uh, because of uh, to protect themselves from any kind of bandits or because the journeys were, were too long so they had to travel together and even they had to witness the night at a certain place to be secured at a certain place and to have a group along with them they used to travel in groups known as caravans so then the primitive lodging houses originated like you can see on the right hand side which is known as differently in uh, each country so uh, if we talk about india dharamshala or sarai in india so in the initial times this particular thing was um, very very basic it was just a roof given to the guests where guests could you know stay at a particular place even in the initial times when people used to travel on camels people didn't get a shed to sleep they used to sleep on their in their own tentage that they used to get along and then came up uh, uh, dharamshalas or sarais as we talk in india where also some inns and some places used to give stables for the animals now we used we could you know let the animals also rest under a roof because it can be cold it can be really hot or it can be raining so the animal also have to be at ease because that's the only method by which the people could travel during that time moving further then there came inns which were run by families themselves and they used to give people certain place to sleep with the uh, and uh, the travelers used to get their own bedding and they used to sleep on the floor there were no no proper toilets there were no facilities of washrooms and then e eventually then uh, innovation came in where uh, people used to uh, used to give uh, beds along with a certain kind of a bedding also a roof also certain kinds of fans and uh, coolers and places for um, you know, the animals to stay or park their own vehicles as in when uh, initially the motor vehicles came in so the inns were basically housed by private homes uh, local people used to uh, let people sleep in their own uh, places they utilized that uh, idea and their and the space that they had and then eventually after inns came in hotels now the hotels picture that you can see is very very beautiful and unique which is the present day hotel but then uh, came in hotels which used to give in privacy to the guest or the family because they could stay together two people could stay in one room so privacy came in a separate room started coming in separate washroom started coming in and now like we can see is uh, the hotels have uh, expanded and digitalized to quite an extent so that's how innovation and origin of uh, hospitality industry happened like people started traveling from their camels to uh, lodging places where they didn't have beds to then moving on to dormitories where they used to even get beddings and then hotels came in now now the hotels have also uh, uh, become very beautiful unique and uh, we even have robot hotels in today's time so the hospitality industry has uh, originated to quite an extent all right in the next session uh, for now we are going to further discuss about our tourism industry what is the importance of tourism and uh, what are the reasons for uh, traveling by the people that is what we are going to discuss in our next session and uh, thank you for now have a nice day and uh, hope to see you back soon